There are millions of people worldwide suffering from partial or complete paralysis due to neurological disorders such as spinal cord injury. In these patients, the communication link between the brain and the muscles is broken. However, even in these severe conditions, the brain circuitry that processes sensory motor information remains intact. This fact has been exploited by many researchers to help restore the patient's lost motor function by developing a system that can translate directly the brain activity to control the external devices such as uh, computer, cursor, or robotic arms. Uh, such a system is called brain machine interface. One type of brain machine interface is the one that uses electrodes placed uh, on the scalp. In this uh, type of brain machine interface, uh, the recorded signal are very noisy and they have poor spatial resolution because the signals have to traverse through various mediums like uh, tissue, fluids, uh, skulls and scalp. Another type of brain machine interfaces use electrodes that penetrate down into the brain tissue. So even though these invasive brain machine interfaces carry higher risk. It can deliver high resolution, high spatial and temporal resolution, and it can enable recording of single neuronal spikes. A spike is electrical impulse generated by neurons when neurons send information, and is considered as the main communication mode between the neurons. Multiple studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of spike-based brain machine interfaces. Despite these successes, a clinically viable translation of spike-based brain machine interfaces faces major challenges. Typical spike processing and or transmission require high uh, power consumption. So an alternative uh, signal source, which are local field potentials or LFPs, have been suggested by researchers. Instead of looking of multiple single neuron spikes, we use local field potential, which are the average of neurons activity in those local population of neurons. So, so we record uh, simultaneously the brain activity along with the motion of the subject. So we look at the local field potential recorded from motor cortex and try to understand how this local field potential generates the motion of the subject. By accurate estimation of firing rates from the LFPs, we may be able to enhance the reliability and also the longevity of brain machine interface, which ultimately we may improve the quality of life of paralyzed patients.